No, I said, giving my sibling a dirty look as we stepped into the elevator. Cinder let out a frustrated sigh. The parental kind. The one I hated with a passion, even though I still loved them. Their mates stepped in with us. A muscled manticore and a goth pixie demon whose style I loved. Come on, Em, Cinder pleaded, hitting the button. I'm not moving in with the three of you, I said, my voice firm. It had been three weeks since the most recent series of events. It was colder than hell outside, and I was wearing a camel-colored peacoat with a black jumpsuit and polka dot blouse underneath. I'm just concerned, Cinder snapped. You are an Omega, and I can't risk you getting hurt. The only reason I let you... I shot them a look that could kill, and Laura let out a small sigh, wrapping her arm around my sibling. <sighs> Cinder, she's going to do what she wants, Laura said. She's an adult. She will move in with us if she wants. You have to stop treating her like a child. Besides, she has that big interview tomorrow and is already making a name for herself around here. Laura winked at me, and I did my best to keep a stoic expression. Cinder looked down at Laura, their burning violet eyes immediately softening. They hissed between their teeth, about to say something that would probably make the two of us fight, but then the doors slid open. I was out in the hallway before they could stop me, fighting a smirk, despite my annoyance. I liked Mitch and Laura a lot. They had been good for Cinder, and I enjoyed seeing them in love. I loved that Cinder was finally happy, despite their fixation on making sure I was safe. 